Jimheim investigated the tomb of Osvaldo Castellanter. And after a few creepy encounters discovered that his crypt was in fact, uh, or his rather his sarcophagus was empty. Uh, after triggering a magical trap, they uh, crossed paths with the Castellanters. Vivi ended up having a disturbing nightmare about Osvaldo. And after they decided that they wanted to keep pressing this sort of line of investigation, trying to find answers about uh, Vivian, uh, Amalia Castellanter invited them upstairs to the attic to look over Osvaldo's things, only to discover that Osvaldo Castellanter, once thought dead, has actually been turned into a devil, a, a, a chiton or chain devil uh, that is kept inside the uh, attic. After appealing to the Castellanter's better nature, uh, Vivi and Jimheim were freed, and after a conversation, uh, agreed to don a set of gold rings uh, and uh, swear to uh, honor two favors to the Castellanters, one of which was cashed in immediately to not reveal anything that they had discovered over the past few days. The rest of the party ended up uh, discovering that the talking, the, the, the moon rat named Ben was in fact not what he appeared to be, or at least he certainly wasn't normal for a moon rat. Um, ended up following a trail of clues to the castle lanterns, but by then Vivi and Jim had darted off. Cut to a few sessions ago where, or rather or like several hours ago for your characters where following on clues found in the basement uh, and um, uh, equipped with the compass stone, the stone sphere that everybody's been looking for. The party traveled to the Palace of Waterdeep and were able to like discern what they think is the location of the vault containing Never Ember's treasure. After traveling up to Northward to a little park around the Sword Maiden statue, which is uh, located over here, yeah, there, a little park there. You've discovered a secret entrance down into the room, uh, to the dungeon of Undermountain. After confronting a set of bone claws and navigating a labyrinth filled with poisonous gas and oozes and loot boxes, the party accidentally teleported themselves back to the yawning portal uh, and were able to like get back up to the surface. And upon your subsequent return to the king's palace, were confronted with the uh, dutiful butler of the Castellanters. I'll find him again, because he is a very beautiful man. Uh, named uh, Giles. And uh, Giles presented the party with an invitation to dinner with the Castellanters tomorrow at 6. So are we in the yawning portal right now? Uh, no, you got. Or, um, if you guys wanted to do anything at the yawning portal, we can certainly do that. Um, we can cover that. Uh, otherwise, we're going to cut to the king's palace. So, was there something in particular people wanted to do? Aside from just getting some drinks, no. I was going to say shots. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, I shots, think yeah. Gotcha. We would definitely, definitely do some shots after definitely coming out of the. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. I think okay, Jim yeah. did did a couple. I'm gonna say maybe two, maybe three too many, depending on how wild other people were getting. I mean, you could probably say we got day. to the bar pretty wasted. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So as as Giles <laughs> is uh, handing you this invitation, he's been sitting here for probably an hour and a half, uh, waiting for you, and you guys just come in a little tipsy, a little sloshed. <laughs> He's he's mildly concerned. I wish I'd have uh, at him. <laughs> oh yeah, because you got the cape with the. But uh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. And um, but otherwise, he, he'll uh take his leave. Um. When you get there, 
Um, you also notice that your uh, your faithful employee Caprica is n like it, you guys arrive at the bar probably around closing time, um, but uh, Caprica is not uh, behind the bar. She's not really cleaning up. She's currently sitting off to like one side, uh, having a pleasant conversation with a woman you actually know. Uh, she's the lady who supplies you with your bread, Leah Blackwater. But they're having a, a, a pleasant conversation, uh, occasionally like laughing at things. Uh, as she sees you guys come in, and as she's sort of looking around, realizing it's kind of like time to turn in, uh, she uh, Leah slaps the table, uh, shakes Caprica's hand, heads out the door. It gives you all a polite nod after noticing your sort of drunken state. Hello. Hey, I'm long time no see. Uh, in, indeed. Um, I I see you've all. Well, well, I'm 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 gonna go. I'm gonna go. Uh, Caprica, <laughs> think about what I said. This this humble one. I, I will. Thank you. Heads out the door. Caprica immediately starts busying herself with uh, busting tables and. All stuff like that, getting getting the place all cleaned up for closing time. That's a pleasant surprise. I haven't seen her in a while. So we're to place above her bread shop. Oh yeah, yeah. She's also your old uh, landlord. Yeah. Hmm. What was she doing here? She does. This isn't quite her, you know, her part of town, as it were, our our, our dingy little place. I oh, yeah, she's making a bread delivery. Bridge. Was it? She's making a bread delivery. Oh, fantastic. She, she had the best bread in town. I, I'm pretty sure I said that a bunch to people when I was handing it out when I first got this place. So uh, she, she does claim to have the best sourdough in the city, yes. It's true. You've had, you've had it, right? Yes. Fantastic stuff. That's what are you yeah, talking you. about? Oh, um... Just... How business goes. She's probably talking about you. Oh, what would they have to talk about in regards to me? I'm not that interesting. I, <laughs> Besides being a treasure hunter, look at this cloak I got. Billow. <laughs> it billows. <laughs> Caprica looks, nods, goes back to cleaning the bar. That was pretty cool treasure. Yeah, yeah I mean, I'm sulks treasureless as he plays his <laughs> Didn't I get something too? I forgot. Um, Here, Jim, you yes, can have this I unicorn. Uh, yes, uh, Oz, I believe you got a. Was it a wand of smiles? Oh, that's yeah. right. I believe it was. And I have the owlbear. I try to hit uh, Jemheim with it. Because he's frowning. He's what sulking. kind of save do I need to make? I, was, I think it's a wisdom save. I don't yeah. know. What's the DC? Okay. I have no idea. Probably. Let's go with 12. I think that's where it is off the top of my head. <laughs> Hiya! Jim <Jemheim, no>. uh, <laughs> <Jemheim keeps, laughs> uh, looks up at Oz and just gives him a little wink. And I'll smile for you. <laughs> you can't keep Jim from, from smiling too long. <laughs> What'd you say, Isa? I want to give uh, uh, Caprica a gold coin and tell her that we'll clean up. So call call it a night and thank you. Oh, um, thank you. Right, I'll I'll call it a night. She um hop goes around the bar, uh, says good night to the Knolls, gives you all a polite bow, heads out for the night. Have a good night. See you in the morning. She walks out. Ah, I, should, I should get some sourdough. Miss that stuff. 
Uh, Laz just shakes his head, uh, adjusts his glasses on his nose, mutters, idiot. He wears glasses? What you got? Glasses? Yo, I thought those were reading glasses. Uh, yeah, I assume that we'd been gone long enough that there was a paper. So Laz's, like, usual deal is to sit in a table where he can kind of eavesdrop on any point in the bar and pretend <laughs> to read the paper. <laughs> and, but you have reading glasses? Is that is that the the thing? I thought we had established that a while ago. You did, okay, yeah. Fair. Okay, fair. Yeah. yeah. I just forgot. Um, yeah, so... Right. Uh, I've, I... I've been forgetting to update the newspaper. I am sorry about that. Um, Lazarus, yeah, as you read the paper, um, notable headlines... Let's see. Um, investigation into uh, I- investigations into uh, Wild Night turn fruitless. Uh, investigation le- investigation trails seem to lead to empty warehouses, shell companies. You uh, let's see another headline that'd be sort of circulating around now. Oh, a uh, new exhibit at the. Waterdeep, um, Waterdeep Museum. Uh, come see uh, the, yeah, yeah, come see an exhibit of the treasures of Mulharond, uh, including the uh, the uh, sarcophagus of Nefertis, the Jewel of the Desert. Showing for this month only. Wait, they're already uh, done with the Mestika exhibit. I, I say as I'm peeking the, over uh, Liza's the, shoulder at the newspaper. <laughs> the, the article says that it uh, accompanies the Mastican exhibit in a separate wing. Oh, it's a small wing with bathrooms. Um, and the uh, but speaking of Mastika, the third headline of note would be uh, note our uh, famous playwright Tristan Ashbridge to launch um, uh, auditions for his new play, The Son of Mastika. I lean even more over Les' shoulder looking at the paper. What? Why should audition? Uh, that what was you... my ear. <laughs> can, can you dial it down just a notch? Oh, yeah, you're Wait, right. What do you guys I should audition. <laughs> Have you ever acted Mohal before, Run. King? I feel like I know a guy from Mohal Run. I, I act every moment <laughs> of my life. It is, it is, it, it is, I am method acting my way through life. Don't you worry. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. Oh, Jim, you you know actors. You 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 can get me in there. Provide a provide a reference. We whistle me in. I mean, oh, we literally yeah. know Ashton. We went we went to high school with him. Got the body for us. Yes, perfect. We've all oh, met I, him. I, oh, I feel like out of all of the important oh, yeah. things we have lined up, we should throw them all to the side and become actors. Do you think Tristan would help us out? I don't know about that. Weren't you trying to not draw attention to yourself with the Mastikans? Oh. Oh, you're right. Uh, Or maybe I could play someone. I I could disguise myself and then in thy disguised self, then play in the play. I call play a guy who then plays a guy. Mm-hmm, also, this mm-hmm. guy hates us because he's an asshole. Yeah. He I does. mean, I hate him because he's an asshole. And I hate him. And and we all hate him. It's okay. We he all mostly hate him. hates Jim and Oz. The rest, he, the rest of you, he's indifferent to. Most of you hate him. King, what would you gain from doing this? Explain that. I to hate me anybody again. that Jim hates. Well, I mean, thanks, buddy. That's a good friend right there. <laughs> I mean, if, if the if the play is about what I think it's about, it's you know, it's p- part of my my rich rich family's rich history, and I feel like I want to be a part of it. I don't want to see some some human dress up in some kind of you know, abomination of a costume messing it all up. The, uh, the article would go on to the describe to make him look weird. The uh, the article <laughs> goes on to describe give a a brief little pitch of the play. Apparently, it depicts the. Uh, it, it depicts in painstaking historical accuracy the rise of the Leonin dynasty. Oh, yes. If, if nothing else, I'm going to drag every one of you to come see it. 
It's like a Marvel. It will hat. also be. It'll both be written, directed by, and starring Tristan Ashbridge. It's gonna be inaccurate <laughs> as hell. Historical hells. detail, though. Oh, we, we can't trust that asshole to do it right. He's a he's an asshole. Do you think you're? <laughs> he's also an idiot. Cat ears. <laughs> what was that? He also wears polka dot underwear. Do you think your brother will be there? Oh God, he would. But yeah, w- w- opening, when, when... opening night co- like corresponds with uh, what you know to be a time period when Geminus will be in the city. Oh, he would be there. Is this going to be before or after the Albert race? Probably after. Well, what I'll do. I'll, I'll... Hmm. Whether I want to be there and risk that sort of reunion will depend on how the Alba race goes, because I believe I have an, a, an appointment, well, not me, but uh, the El Tigre has an appointment to meet him at the Alba race, or before it, sometime around there, so we'll see how that goes. But if it goes well, maybe we can all go see a play. All right. I hope it goes better than the last play we went and saw. Or the same thing happens yeah, in December strong enough to beat bad. the butts. We are pretty strong. That. We do beat butts. The hope is that there's at least less thrill available for what happened at the last one we saw to be a thing. So Given... what's our next plan of action for all this? Because... We, what did we really learn from going down there? Nothing. Nothing at all. Don't we, need, we need more healing potions and shit. Is that the plan yeah. of action? Is it just get more prepared and then go back down again? Seems like it. And maybe, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll know for, for the future that, you know, the, the glowing runes might send us <laughs> to the young portal rather than make a, a checkpoint. We also need to know what... The, we need the key at some point. Yeah, we, we gotta need find keys. Look through those documents. To find a way to bypass their magical defenses. It's like, oh, right. Laz just starts going through the list <laughs> of things that we need to do to prepare. It's Isn't extensive. There... <laughs> Why don't we go to that Department of Visual Darts? Is there a statue we're supposed to look at? Uh, That's an option. Let's also, you know, checking out that uh, thing at Casa Lantern of Financial. That rings a bell. Oh, yeah, we have an appointment with them tomorrow night. I was going to deal with that. Dinner, actually. Hmm. Hmm. Which of, which of these would be closest to their place so we can, you know, be, be efficient tomorrow? Because it's, it's fairly late at this point, isn't it? Yeah, I guess we're closing up. Um, closest to ca- uh, to the Castle Lanterns, um, a number of these are actually pretty close. Um, the old, new Olam Academy of uh, Visual Art is relatively close. Castle Enter Financial actually has locations throughout uh, Waterdeep, so there's not you're not really sure. There is one in Seaward, which would be not terribly far from them. Um, so yeah, there's a there, there's a few of these that aren't terribly far. Is there a mag- magic item shop or something like that nearby nearby the Castle Enters or something? I'd love to go shopping tomorrow. There, yeah, there. Are, there are probably uh, uh, yeah stores that sell magic items in Seaward. We have one next door. True, the guy across the street does yeah, it does yeah. make a uh, uh, magical inventions. Gear freak. Don't we also? He's this cold. is my weapon that I'm using. Wasn't that from a guy who makes magic weapons and stuff? Yes. He's not too far away from here, I believe. He was like yeah, the guy but... who trained the. Yeah, uh, his his normal shop is up in Seaward, like really close to the wall. Oh. Um, 
However, he's been you've been seeing him hanging around your neighbor's uh, store uh, for the past say week or so. I'm more looking for like magic clothing. You would definitely find that in Sea Ward. Okay. You could probably yeah. find it in Trades Ward too. You'd have to do a little bit of hunting. Phoebe, doesn't your family make that stuff? Oh, yeah. I was gonna say go to a Valentine location. I'm, I'm sure that'll be well. There. Nope, not going. You said, didn't, didn't your uh? But Vivi, wouldn't you get a discount, like a, fi- nope. a friends and family discount? Nope, I'm I'm not part of the family. Nope. Mm-mm. What? What about well, you, Jim Heim? You're friends with the family. Would you get a friends and family discount? I am uh, betrothed. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> you know, I'm your family now. <laughs> Enjoy that. And just just waltz in and be like, hey, "Hello, I'm the future Mr. Valentine. I would like one that's cloak of protection." Works, actually, <laughs> oh, not that. I do no. like the sound of this. I, you know how much yeah, I like Jim. shopping. Ooh, Jim, that is a good shopping. idea. Just like, why not? Why not? Why don't we go get a little discount? You know, yeah. why be why be privileged? He's the future king. Him? I mean, I guess it's likely that my parents wouldn't be at a random store we happen to get into, right? right. What yeah. a right? chance isn't that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on, you know, you know. Just getting tokens ready. Just wear a mustache. No one will notice you. They always notice me. Why? I can't figure it out. My you know, I have one of these. So good. I have one of these things. I have a a living mask. It'll change your face. I can, Doesn't matter. Though. I can literally change what I look like with my well, this one, with my invention. This one doesn't cause any magic to do. It's and I have it. I've been carrying it, and I, I just don't know what to do with it. I'm not is touching also, that thing. Is it also like technically some kind of slug? Look, the details don't matter. What it does, that's what matters. I'm not touching that thing. Don't look at me. I'd have to comb that out of my fur for a week. It's a jelly. You know We've had enough jelly. jelly tonight, that's for sure. <laughs> yes, that's true. Even worse, jellies are sticky. I think when it dies, it just like comes off, so it's fine. Uh, it dies when it comes off. But your pores will be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was out of character. <laughs> I don't know why I did the last voice for that. Really Wait different. on second thought, I need that. <laughs> oh, apparently, Lee, I do a really good Laz impression. Anyway, continue. You, you oh, did. that's yeah, true, you sure. did. Really did. Nice. At one point, I thought you were on the call. <laughs> nice. Okay. So on the agenda, f- on the agenda for tomorrow, we have clothes shopping. We have magic clothes shopping. Magic clothes shopping. Thank you, Lisa. And, and I mean, it's it's possible that uh, wherever I need to go for my next scavenger hunt clue might be in Sea Ward. Maybe I actually don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. Oh, maybe we can crack uh, do that. Do you remember what your clue is? Yeah, I'm looking at it, but. I can't figure it out. <laughs> have, have you have you tried sharing it with the others? Maybe yeah, I could do that. I could share everybody the clue. I think it was like a note. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh yeah, hang on, let me see if I can figure it out or if I find it in my notes here. Uh, yeah, here we go. Uh yeah, so the uh most re- yeah the the most recent clue is a note that you got from Silas. Uh, it reads, "Be real quiet. Don't get caught. Check un- instead your our favorite <clears throat> our favorite spot at the house of red and white, hidden from the candlelight." Who's got a red and white house? Well, maybe it's like a lot of people. What is, what is red, red and white and black all over? The newspaper. <laughs> Let's go to the newspaper office. <laughs> this Wait, could be it. Vivi, when did this, this become a Batman the Animated Series episode? <laughs> yeah, that could be like several places. <laughs> what did you say, Isa? I just asked, where's your favorite spot? I don't know. Like I said, this could be several places. I loved being oh, but, at the House of God. I liked being at the warehouse, which is, you know, dust. dust. 
Well, well, think, think, think about you know, who wrote this. It says you know from Silas. Well, Actually, it's, it's, I thought it's it was from, it's from Vivian. Vivian. He did not write it. It was okay. supposed to be in the alley, but Silas took it because he found oh. it first. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. But it's from Vivian, so. Hmm. Maybe we could try try to narrow it down by just adding. Like, would it just be your and Vivian's favorite spot, or could it be like the whole like little friend group's favorite spot, like, including like Jim and whoever else you guys hang, hung out with? Vivian, what does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Where are Rose going? Where I, paid, I paid Vivian well. She won't. T- she won't cough up any of my secrets. <laughs> Your animal crackers uh, are in the mail. <laughs> so, so, a slight out of character, just setting question: Is Water Deep? Was well, is Water Deep? And I guess like the setting in general, the type of place where like our barber shop would have like the red and white poles. Sure. Yeah, I don't see why not. Do you guys like to go get your haircut? I, I, I've heard humans like to put you know little red and white poles in front of the barber shops in this part of the world. It's wait, weird. Wait, wait, I don't get wait. it. Name me, name me favorite spots again. What were they? The warehouse. I mean, I like the warehouse and uh, Temple of God, but we just barely were there. The temple. What either hidden is the temple from the candlelight. Any. You're ignoring this last line here. Well, yeah. Does that narrow it down? No. Anything? <laughs> anywhere you where you would play hide and seek? Mm, hidden from the candlelight. Mm, be real quiet. Don't get caught. Did you use a sneak somewhere together? I mean, maybe it could be at the warehouse because maybe the warehouse is like closed off. You know, you're not supposed to be there. I think it makes sense. Uh, Vivi, with King mentioning that, you can give me an invest. Uh, give me an intelligence check. King, what did you say? Uh, I had to see. What's some place where they used to sneak off to together? And Lazarus, give me an investigation. Yep, I. Uh, My Shika. Okay, got you. You said, uh, what do I roll? Uh, you're rolling intelligence, me. Intelligence. Straight intelligence. Wow. Wow. No. <laughs> uh, Lazarus. It may, it, it, it may be your, your Bruce Wayne level, uh, riddle de- de- deduction. It may be the fact that you're a functioning alcoholic, <laughs> but it does occur to you that red and white also refers to the colors of wine. Oh, oh, that's interesting. Uh, question: Did you sneak a little? Did you sneak a little wine together when you were younger? I mean, we definitely did. That would trigger a memory V of uh, you and V. Uh, you and Vivian wine would somewhere. sneak out. Uh, probably when you're a few, when you're several years too young to be sneaking out to a uh, little bar in seaward um uh the the bartender there never like tried to like uh yeah these kids they're too young you know he's always sort of like willing to humor you um and one of the things that uh vivian particularly liked is that the tables there the like they were these big circular tables that have the one single uh uh leg uh, and each of those was intricately carved like a different monster. So you had like manticores, wyverns, things like that. She always preferred the wyverns. Oh, yeah. That was literally going to be my next question. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. There's this one cool place. I, mean, I barely remember that. I mean, like I said, there's a lot of favorite spots. That's definitely one of her favorite spots. This one well, question. She wrote the note, so that would make sense. I mean, she said hours, so I don't know. This one question still remaining: red, white. What's what's yours and Vivian's problem with rosé then? <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> 
I mean, wouldn't that isn't this also technically a white? I thought it was like its own thing. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not. I've, I've never been. No, no, been quite the quite Laz, the. Laz, what do you know? Hey, hey. It's his own. It's his I own. I prefer thing. liquor. Thank you very much. It's his own category. <laughs> See, if Vivian knew stuff, she put you know the house of red, white, and rosé. <laughs> well, finally, again, we should really you know break over the culture with that. So what's the plan? Go to that place? We could check it out. I guess there's nothing better to do, right? I mean, besides more of the, uh, more of the, you know, the, the treasure clues and get yeah, rid of whatever the castle line is. Where, where did I post the fucking thing? What, what's our calendar like? There we go. Okay, cool. And then we got that uh, race somewhat soon, right? Yeah, you guys have the uh, Albert race on the 15th. It is currently the uh, evening of the 7th. Oh, yeah. Um, so, uh, as I'm looking at the pinned comment I have here in the, in the uh, Discord, you have the various clues uh, that you could look into. Uh, Jim Heim, you could learn more about this, uh, this gold fire guy. Um, King, always looking to recover the last Jim and Claw from Tanavast. Uh, prepare for your brother's arrival. Oz, Mange, one of the two guys responsible for killing uh, Tort, is still at large. Um, scavenger hunt clue for VV, or investigating that manor outside of town, uh, as per Quillian Melchimber's memory gem. Um, and then there is also on the twelfth. Um, the the like the twelfth is going to be the probably the opportune time. To steal that mermaid, or to quote unquote, liberate the mermaid from Gustave Dumond. It's not necessary to do it that night, but Dumond will not be in his mansion at that time. You know, I kind of want to see my cousin. Where does uh, Nax live? Or where does he uh, let me... Here, I'm South going to pull Ward. you over to the... Uh... Yeah, he, yeah he, he lives in Southward. I'll, I'll show you where he is. I'm, I wonder if I have it on the map. Knuckle um... Oh, I do, because I'm just so fucking smart. Yeah, god damn it. I love it when I'm prepared. There we go. Knuckle Bones, right there. Okay. That's probably nowhere near where we're going, huh? Uh, It is in the... Like, in terms of... Uh, what other people are talking about, it is in the opposite direction, yes. Yeah, okay, never mind. Uh, these pickup and drop-off times from Diggory was sold down. Um, are they, like, s days of the week, or are they dates, specifically? Uh, they would be dates. Okay. There doesn't appear, so these... and, uh, from what you can ascertain, it doesn't appear to be any sort of, like, pattern to them. Okay. Hmm. Is the one coming up soon? Uh, they all end. They all would have ended over five years ago. Yeah, these are very old documents. So, um, okay. Um, Laz, uh, Laz wants to check out that statue, and um, we didn't have any leads on the key, correct? Aside from how many pieces it breaks into? No. Okay, yeah. We'll start with that statue. Or Laz will start with that statue. Okay. Uh, so it seems like tomorrow's agenda is sort of broadly magical clothes shopping, new Olam Academy of Visual Arts, maybe check out that bar, Castle Lantern dinner. Um, Oz, if you'd like to get a hold of Nax, he could come find you at some point. Uh, you know, it's fine. 
speaking okay. of speaking of meetups, uh, with the change of who's like you know, running Doc Ward now with uh, Durnan being down, it's Durnan, right? It's his name being down there now is yep. a ten is Tenavas's like main kind of like place that I would meet her at. Is that still the place to meet her at, or is she hanging out somewhere else now? Uh, mm, that's a good question. Um, she'd probably be hanging out like at some sort of cop bar here in Trades War. Oh, might be here. The car bar. <laughs> we oh, are the no. cop bar in Trades War. Oh no! <laughs> we we are now in Tanavast Hangout. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you better start locking your bedroom door before she moves into it. Uh, we have enough. <laughs> we have enough water learn. around here. Oh, I that about mine. Oh, I forgot. Oh, oh big. Uh, lost opportunity. It's probably too late for her to be up and about at this hour anyway. <laughs> oh, unless, unless a bunch of rowdy people no, came in no, through the door mother. making noise. Oh, fuck no. I'm so glad I'm not. <laughs> I'm leaving the bar right now. <laughs> uh, My one question. Uh, somebody had a question? Yes. Um, we never followed up on that Oratasco's leave, cor- leave, lead, correct? Sorry. Words. No. No, okay. you don't. You don't know anything about this Diggory Whistledown, nor do you know anything about this Oratascos. Okay. Um, since or this Draven Brightwater. Yeah. At least you don't. Wow. Okay. Um, and I uh, one thing I pointed out last time. Uh, and I'll remind you guys of you. Your your bar has the capability. Like you have a a thing you can do with it. Uh, player hand uh, the king's pound. I think gather it's, rumors. Oh, yeah, yeah, gather rumors. Yeah, you. So you could gather rumors and have people like uh, investigate things while you guys do other things. Um, <laughs> right now because of your stronghold level, you have um. Two uses of it. One has already been used to investigate Amelia Crane, but you still have one more use to this level. We haven't made any progress to the next level. I mean, you have, Stop but you haven't time. leveled up. Well, there's a progress thing here. And it says we're zero of four thousand. Oh, 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 no, no, not, uh, not, no, not to the next level of your bar. No. Yeah, that's what I was just asking. I thought you were asking about like your character level. We have to no. we have to invest uh, money. When, in I, the when bar I say I'm sorry, Charlie. When I say um, you have two more uses this level, what I mean is you have two more uses until like when you guys level up that recharges. Uh, no, I know I wasn't asking that. I was, I was okay, okay. I was just curious about our bar rank. Yeah, so we need to pay money to make it go up. Yeah. Did we try to renovate them some things recently? That was that was the, the uh, your bar upgrading. Yes. Yeah. That's why we have the private room. Um, the secret exit, I believe, is what I went I with of, in the I basement fireplace. Did I get a jail? Yes. I, yeah. I love yeah. it. Got cool. us a sick aquarium. Jam home oh, got a stage. Right. We got a jail. We could keep a prisoner if we want to. I will not be party to oh, kidnapping. But... Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll draw a jail on here next time. Yeah, yeah. So, you, yeah. Uh, so you guys have a jail in the uh, basement and a secret exit. Uh, you have a stage for Jimheim, an aquarium of unusual size with one goldfish in it. Izo got the party room, and Vivi got a a loft space above her uh, room. I say we use the rumors to investigate Diggory Whistledown. Thoughts? That makes sense. Is one of the sure. Uh, the least, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Try to find the least we have the least leads on the, yeah. the gather intel thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, then yeah. So let's see here. Uh, you can spend it as a minimum one hundred again. Plus one hundred. Okay, yeah. So if somebody would like to spend that money, figure out if you want to spend one or two hundred gold, and then you can give me a uh, a gather intel check. Gather intel checks are. Uh, let's see. I have. Uh, I have. Do I even have that money? I do. Twenty three silver pieces and six copper pieces. 
Yeah. How did you not get any gold pieces? <laughs> Do we get? There paid? was no gold in the, or there, there was barely any gold in the ooze. It was all copper and then Alistair coins. Does 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 the, does the, uh, the Intel Knight take fancy fountain pens and hunks of amethyst? <laughs> oh, if you if you have like um, if you have some sort of like treasure with a monetary value, we can assume that you've liquidated it since then. I'm I'm okay with that. Okay. Do we have that? <laughs> uh, I mean, I, yeah, because you guys. Uh, yeah, looted, I do have fifty uh, gold uh, pieces. Fuck faces. Uh, Vincent, uh, Vincent Saint Domain or Victor Saint Domain's uh, uh, yeah. apartment and stole like his pins, his fucking uh, his clothes, <laughs> things like that. I do have fifty gold pieces worth of jewelry, but I'm never selling that because I wear it. <laughs> like, I'm blinked out. No, <laughs> <laughs> I got that in like one of the first fights we did. Yeah, like one of those. <laughs> Places. I got jewelry and I've. Well, no, let me I'm, do some math. I can tell you, everybody that. should have at least. Let's see here. Because we got paid for something recently because Laz still has gold. <laughs> Are you guys yeah, maybe. giving gold away? Yeah, same. You I'll should all have a minimum of 88 gold. I have I mean, if not more than that. I somehow. Oz always has a little extra, you know? I'm just saying they should have a minimum of that because that's the so the, the I stole from Saint Domains his accessories and clothes, <laughs> and sold that and and, and and divvied it up, and so everybody should okay. at least have eighty okay. gold from cool. that. Maybe uh, I might have been I think I might have been gone that night. Oh, that cool. could be perfect. Eighty-eight sounds great. I yep. feel rich. I, I gotta let's see here. If I, if I include the amethyst I got tonight, I have about five hundred and seven because I just liquidated that in the pins. So, I can spare hundred gold. Yeah, I can spare hundred as well. I'm gonna go to my to the uh, guy who's uh, the bouncer. Is he there? Oh uh, yeah, your bouncer can be there. Hey, bouncer man, how's it going? Uh, hey, um, even Josh has managed to forget this guy's name. So yeah, what's up? <laughs> I have a business proposition for you. Uh huh. So I got these. Uh, I got this dream lily, right? You know what that is? He gives you a <sighs> a, uh, a toothy fucking... smile where you notice he's missing several teeth, uh, which he lost from his dream lily habit when you guys found him in a den of dream lily, which is incidentally where you got the dream lily <laughs> that you are now <laughs> showing him. So you know what dream lily is, right? That I do. Okay, so. I want you to sell this to our best patrons. This is not a good idea. I ever want to sign uh, last last said anything I'm signing with them preemptively. <laughs> okay, our worst patrons. Okay, just no. The ones L- L- Les like... Les just goes and starts dragging Oz away. <laughs> don't no, don't listen to him. It is right. not real Jim Lady. No, 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 we're not doing that. Uh, I mean, Jemheim no. walks up to him. And says, "You do not." So I got this thing called bar. cosmic essence. Ooh. You think you could get? Uh... Isn't it that stuff the lady across the street sells? Don't really know what it is, to be honest. Yeah, it is. You've never, you have never tried it before. I have no. some too, actually. It is from her. What is? She gave you free this? samples. What does this do? What is this? You don't know. Nobody's ever tried it. It's just a thing she she sells. Does I go back to know? the bouncer. I go back uh, to the no, bouncer. he's never tried it before. Either. I mean, Look, if I, it, to... I remember she was talking about how it makes you trip the uh, what was it? Um, makes you see the 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 I don't know the 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 luminous ether or something like that. I don't know. Look, I got three pudding cups. Don't tell King, by the way. <laughs> I do. Like <laughs> <laughs> you were <laughs> just scratching my neck. <laughs> You're lucky I did not hear you say the word pudding cups. <laughs> God. So if, if we're Wait, trying to if we're trying to sell drugs I... out of our cop bar to scrounge two hundred gold, we we have that amongst us. We just have it already. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm I'm willing to drop some gold into the bucket. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, like I said, yeah, a couple of things. Okay, so so we're doing the investigation thing, yes, the gather intel yes. thing. Okay, yes, who, yes. I'm go, going go hundred gold. Put in chat, 
Okay, go ahead and put post in chat how much you are kicking in. You can contribute up to 200. How much do okay, we need? VB, VB throws in 100. King's got 50. Do I see another 50? Cool. Thanks, guys. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. Uh, so you, uh, you guys contribute 202 gold. Thank you. Um, Jim Hope takes me... the two gold. So now he has an even 90. Fuck. Nice. Okay. <laughs> hey, I saw that. Smart. Smart. Oh. Oh. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Let me. Uh... I contributed. Because okay, so... <laughs> the maximum we can put in is 200, correct? Correct. Um, okay. So, given that. Um, per one. Uh, to a fussy bonus, I spend it. Okay, so a gather intel check. Uh, sorry, hold on. Um, what's my note on that? Josh, have you added the plushies to our? To I have our... not. I was. I was a big. I was a big dummy. I've not added your uh, the the loot you guys got last time. I apologize for that. No, it's fine. I was just asking because I was looking mm -hmm. for it. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Um. Okay. So. Um. Either. Yeah. Who? Uh, either. Yeah. Vivi. How about you roll it? Give me a d twenty roll, and you're going to add. I believe. Um. Two. Yes. Oh no! It would be uh five because it adds your proficiency bonus. the eggs 11 okay uh so you never you, ne you never necessarily fail on gather intel checks mm -hmm. uh in that you will get information about this it is it will however take longer uh and you guys have done that with diggory whistle down i'm gonna post that in the chat so i can remember that for later so you guys are are looking up who this guy is and what his deal is gotcha okay that's logged and registered Anything else anybody would like to do tonight? I kind of want to track down Tanavast and see if I can get any kind of idea what I need to do next to get another gem. I want to work on my calligraphy. Okay. If Tanavast is not available tonight, I can delay that, though. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm not sure you'd be able to track her down necessarily tonight at this hour in your haze, in your sort of like tipsy state um Fair enough. i'm looking for a a shady individual to sell my drugs because i don't feel like doing it okay um so okay uh jim Hyman, you want to do your calligraphy thing uh Oz, if you want to like th like if you have drugs that have a monetary value on them let me know uh and you can we can assume that you can find a shady individual to sell them to uh, if they don't have a monetary value, let me know, and we'll we'll work something out. Um, I have three hundred gold worth of dream that I stole. Okay. Um. So you want to find a shady individual to to sell this uh, stuff off to and and make your three hundred? Would you? This is my question to you, Oz. This dream lily. Do you want it being sold around your bar, around trades ward, or in a different ward? Hopefully in some schools. Easy money. Schools, easy <laughs> money? Rich schools, yeah. Rich schools. <laughs> we're all closed right now. <laughs> well, uh, we're, we're, we're not necessarily assuming that this is occurring tonight. Oh. It's something that Oz uh, has been working on is sort of like doing uh, continuously. Okay. So I will say so, the uh, ones that would we'll be open will be over sort the past of few... overnight, like late night cram schools for the really stressed out students. <laughs> sure. Uh, so we'll, we'll assume that over the past few days, because a lot of this, uh, th there was like a two or three day chunk there where Izo wasn't conscious and you guys sort of had the, the run of the place. Uh, and we could assume Oz has been hanging around some schools or finding some shady characters and peddling his dream lily there. Uh, so sure. that that's a network. note. That's a note. I'm going to put that in the chat, too, so I have a record of that. Uh, uh, so how much money did I make? Uh, three, three hundred. Oh, cool. but that, that we're, that's how we're uh, that's how we're going to describe you liquidating that thing. Cool. I'm going to delete off my sheet and add 300 gold instead. 
Josh, yeah. while we're talking about nighttime activities, I want to mm-hmm. I want to try doing some brewing for a new recipe. Okay, so you yeah you and Jim want to do brewing and calligraphy. Uh, that's what Oz is doing. V, uh, Laz, and uh, King. Is there something else you'd like to try to do? Um, I think I'm going to try to talk to Nix. Okay, that's going to be interesting. Um, yep. Vivi or Lazarus? Um, I'm gonna read some books. Uh, okay, I might work on some traps <laughs> for the exit out of the basement. Sure. Okay. Um. So you guys start doing that. Uh, I have traps. I can help you with traps, actually. Do we want sure. to assume that V and and Laz head up to the to the loft lab and start uh, working on traps? Mm-hmm. Okay, nerd nerd friends, they start doing that. <laughs> nerd friends, science nerd bros, friends. <laughs> science bros, science. Jimheim and Izo. So let's talk about crafting. Would you? Uh, let's start with Jimheim. Jimheim, would you like to start? Or yeah, would you like to do something that you already know? Would you like to work on one a recipe you already know? Or would you prefer to try something new? Uh, you're muted, Eric, if you're speaking. Oh, sorry about that. I said, uh, no, I want to make something new. Okay. Um, remind me, like, do I add, what do I add? Just my proficiency? To the yeah, PC? it's just your proficiency bonus, okay. yes. Um, okay, so here's what and I'd would like. you like to make a, a novice, intermediate, or advanced level item? I think I want to go intermediate. Okay, I so I give me a... I want to try and make something badass. Yeah, so here... give me a d20 roll, add your proficiency bonus, DC is 14. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do before I do... Or I guess I kind of, as I'm practicing my calligraphy, mm-hmm. uh, I get kind of bored and kind of zone out a little bit, and then I... Remember that Oz gave me this um, this dr- this the drug S- called Yellow Bell. Oh, no, different. Um, and that if I take it, I'll like it'll like it's a pick me up. So I so I I don't know exactly how it looks. Uh, do my Yellow Bell, and uh, it allows me to inspire myself. Oh, okay. Nice. That's one of his herbalism things. So I'm going to inspire myself using that drug. And so then I can add a D, because I'm a bard, I can use my own. I can add a D8 to that. Oh, cool. So, okay. So I'm going to so I'm gonna now try to make a badass intermediate mm-hmm. thing. Yeah, so uh, you, you down this yellow bell drug and you find yourself like getting goosebumps. Uh, dizzy. You, you, your pupils dilate a little bit, but give me this d20 roll. Add your proficiency bonus and a d8. Okay. So here, let me... Uh, so that's three plus... I don't know if this is going to work. Yeah, there we go. Uh, oof. Oh, wow. Wow. No. Fuck. A one. Oh, that's rough. Damn. That's rough. Too um, bad. Right, yeah. Well. So, Jim, you sit down and you start to... Uh, My first time doing to, the new drug. Yeah, you start to you know, try and do this calligraphy <laughs> and, like, you're... Man, y- Yellow Bull hit like, hits like a fucking freight train. <laughs> oh, I gotta cut my dose in half next time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> All right, fair enough. <laughs> okay. Uh, and Izo, you would like to do brewing? Yeah, I'm going to do intermediate, something new. Intermediate, something new. Go for it. All right. So let's see. Uh, you know what? My initiative is the same as just my D20 plus that. So I'm going to do, I'm going to just do my, that, my initiative roll. Critical. Huh. Oh wow. Okay. Uh so let's take a look here. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, oh, well. And Izo, go ahead and roll me a D100. You got it. The bar's new hit drink. Oh, 27. I like that. <laughs> Three cubed. Okay. Come on. That's a good number. Nice. Forgive me, I have to find my uh my note on this. It's been it's been a little while since we've done this. Um Okay. So let's see here. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, cool. I did not. Okay. Oh, no, there it is. Okay, fantastic. I just didn't have it in the right place. So, Izo, you have learned the recipe for something called... Let me add it to your little sheet here. Oh, yeah. Add to the sheet. Oh, no, that's the TM notes. Don't want to do that. There we go. A recipe for something called uh, concentrated bulwark. Ooh, fuck yeah! So it takes an hour. It takes a uh, action to drink. Duration lasts for one hour. Um, you've got right, two doses good. of this thing. Okay. Yep, and you gain a plus two bonus to AC against ranged attacks. Attacks and spells that ignore cover also negate this bonus. Oh, wow. Cool. Concentrated bulwark. I just realized looking at this list, Mindful White might become Laz's new drink of choice by default because it's not alcoholic. <laughs> it's all alcoholic. It's all uh, Mindful White this, says tea. It says tea. It's a white ale. Never mind. Even when he was an alcoholic, <laughs> Laz didn't like ale. The black the the black difference is a black lager. Trust me, I've I've beerified everything I've gotten. Sad face. Ezo's not making goddamn tea. <laughs> what am I, some prissy elf making tea? I mean, has he tried making tea before? He can find it really relaxing. Speaking of relaxing, King, you head upstairs <sighs> to talk to Nix. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Give the door a little, uh, knock on her door. After a minute or two, opens up. You see Nix uh, on the other side wearing, uh, like, to go with green pajamas with, like, I don't know, um, uh, ducks on them. She's got a little cap on. Huh? Oh, you're asleep already. I figured you would have been still up. No, oh, long day. What's up, Tiger? I just wanted to say that I am s I regret trying to hide you in the basement when you first got here. That was probably mm -hmm. not the best way to handle that situation. I just you it's the safest it's the safest part of the bar and after what you told me happened that night I couldn't think of a better place for you to be and I probably should have waited for you to be awake and sober enough to just go explain that part of it instead of just kind of putting it down in there I admit that was a m mistake on my part listen I don't mind <sighs> you know what just come on in I go in and go in uh, Nick sits down on her bed, gestures for you to sit at the little uh, uh, table that's uh, supplied there, or at, there at like the end of it. 
Yeah, I go into the, I said the table. Mm -hmm. Okay, listen, I don't care about the about the whole being in a basement thing per se. You know, I've I've slept in a lot worse places. Uh, I've slept on my fair share of stone floors. I've slept on my fair share of stone streets. What I care about is that you didn't even tell Caprica I was here. You didn't say anything to anybody. And she just discovers me passed out, hungover, in the basement. That's what bothered me. And that's the exact opposite of what I wanted to happen. I was hoping to be able to explain things to her first, but then that didn't happen. The reason why I didn't tell her immediately was because I was didn't want to upset her. I feel like I've dragged her into bad things enough already, and I didn't want to drag her into another one. And she just I'm a bad thing. Oh, dang. You're not a bad thing. No, no. I meant something that might upset her. You didn't think that a, a guest just sleeping in the basement without her knowledge, her cousin sleeping in the basement without her knowledge, just that wouldn't bother her? Or did you think she wouldn't find out, or did you just assume I wouldn't wake up? I assumed that she wouldn't find out before I got back and could try and explain things to people, and that didn't happen. When I got back and saw that you're both awake and talking to each other, I knew that it was going to be very, very bad for me. I'm not used to caring about people, and I'm very bad at it. I agree. Um, look. The real thing that bothers me is you'd upset her, okay? She and I, we fight over lots of stuff. But Tiger, she's still family. And, you know, we, you and I both know what she's like. She grew up hearing stories of the old country, even though she barely has any memory of it. She... Had, she's a sweet kid. She really is. But, I, you know, she's got a, a, a bit of a fairy tale idea of how things are. How people are. How you are. Or at least she used to. I admit it was kind of refreshing to be here and be around someone who had that kind of fairy tale idea about me, but I know it's not fair. Trying to be less selfish about that kind of thing. And I'm a little worried it might be too late now. Well, I I don't know. I don't I don't know if she's taking the offer, but you know. With the bread lady, Blackwater? Yeah. Yeah, I saw her. I saw them talking when I got in. Tried to play it off like I didn't know the offering her another job, but you know, I'm I'm not that oblivious. I just gotta lean back a bit. Hmm. If if that's better for her, then I'm not going to try and make her stay. I you do want to thank her. You Everything you've said to me, you you need to say to her twice over. That's true. She she thank you for helping me with the Nestor thing. Uh-huh. For everything she does around here. Time to grow up. Time to start acting like 
that hot shot, that big shot you always like to prance around and say that you are. Yeah. That sounds about right. Thank you for telling me all that. It's definitely something I needed to hear. And you're about the only one that I'm willing to hear from. It's what I'm here for. I've been trying to keep you alive ever since I found you on the docks. And I don't say it enough, but thank you for that as well. I don't thank you're people right, you enough don't. in general. Oh, you want to say it again? Th- th- thank you again. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going back to bed, Tiger, because it is very late. I got one thing. I don't know what you're doing. I have, I have one more thing to show you before okay. I leave. Billow. Ugh. Like billow. Just you're welcome. Collapse his face Good down night. in the bed. And I leave. Okay. Uh, and as I walk past where Laz and Vivi are working, I just kind of look towards Laz like, happy now. And I like, <laughs> go down to the basement to hang out with Indeed. <laughs> okay. That's half a job done. Now you hurt me, shit! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vivi, uh, Laz, are, any, any particular types of traps you guys want to build? Uh, I don't know. What did you have in mind? I could do anything. Um, if at all possible, I would like something that's kind of easy to avoid from the direction of leaving the bar, but would be more difficult to avoid coming in through the secret, pa- uh, through the secret passage, if that makes sense. So, yeah, you could, like, set up a, let's assume there's, like, a hard right angle. You could set up a mm-hmm. tripwire that is... Uh, are just around that angle such that somebody coming like from the exit toward like into bar would have a hard time seeing it but anybody coming from bar to outside would see it pretty easily sounds like a plan so like one of those things that you put to uh pop tires <laughs> i don't know sure. <laughs> no <laughs> what's a tire <laughs> I made that up. <laughs> it's for another invention. I'm just I'm oh, noticing oh. the chat now. It's just amazing. Anyway. <laughs> this might not be a baby making scene. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. It's okay, I got these cool retractable wire things. As, as King walked by, he probably heard like some hammering and drilling for some reason. There's always hammering and drilling sounds. Mm-hmm. There might or might not be a tiny speaker that constantly gives off hammering and drilling sounds, even if there's no hammering and drilling going on. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> At random <clears throat> intervals, if you pass by it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there's That's an fantastic. infrared sensor. <clears throat> That's fantastic. Uh, and, uh, yeah, as you guys work into the night, uh, Lazarus, a couple of things. Like, you, you are, you, you're you sitting here letting your mind wander and sort of, sort of like work on things subconsciously as you're uh, building these traps and whatnot. Uh, a couple of things like start sort of whirling in your head. The the clues that you have from the basement uh, and the various leads. There's also the issue of the, the knowledge that your father, by all accounts, seems to have been looking into this matter. Because it was his, like, he was the one who sort of, like, uh, came up with the cipher that mm-hmm. allowed you sort of decode just like how much money was getting uh, handled here. Um, and by all accounts, like he probably had that pretty close to the time of his death, given the uh, given the hour or given the dates involved. Um, and the other and one more thing, Laz, that you realize now has sort of been like wheedling there in the back of your mind is that correspondence that you have of, of never embers. Um, let me pull it up again. One more time. Play your hand down. Uh, this thing. 
Now, your copy is not perfect, Laz. Um, mm-hmm. uh, the original, it was much more obvious than the original, but there was multiple like sets of handwriting, three different distinct sets of handwriting in that book. Um, you'd probably be able to recognize it. It's a simple type of magic item that can record, essentially like uh, logs a, a instant messenger sort of chat. Um, people have like, each member of this sort of correspondence would have their own book and anything written in one appears in the others. Um, and there's multiple sets of handwriting, which means Never Ember was not alone in whatever he was doing. There's at mm-hmm. least two other people out there who know something about this. I bet they each have part of the key. Other than that, you guys hit the bed, get some shut eye. Hopefully we don't have weird dreams tonight. I say to everybody. <laughs> Les <laughs> just glares at you because he's had nothing but weird dreams since the tower. <laughs> Why do you always say that? <laughs> God <laughs> damn it, Oz. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go to my little uh, alleyway and uh, sleep there. Okay. Hmm. Let's take a five minute break. All right. I need a drink. All right. head revelation i'm putting all of my the beers that i know how to make and making them into spell cards so Ooh. i can click them easily Ooh, smart Ooh, that's good yeah i should do that too so it's easy to share what they do and it's fun because it also allows me to adjust the text of some of these to make them more beer like you can also press the red little button next to the spell to say if you have it or not. Oh uh, yeah, I was gonna do that as soon as I get done typing these in. Let's see. I found some really cool music while you guys were doing that scene. Nice. Like listen to this one. But it didn't fit the scene. It didn't fit the scene. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, this is the theme I would play if there's like a, like a dark council of people, you know? <laughs> and what we need to get is just find a, a decent soundtrack of like, like some sort of like high school visual novel for those kind of scenes. And just mine it for any kind of NPC or just character interaction. Do what? I, I just think of like, what, what, like what media would have soundtracks we can mine for that? Like some kind of like anime as uh, visual novel would probably be ripe for stuff for like for, t- for that tense scene? relationship arguments. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, from uh, Kagula, Love is War. There's gotta be good stuff in there. Ooh, good point. What are you eating? Mochi. Mango mochi. What did, did you just get groceries today? Yeah. Anything good that's like not unhealthy? No. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> the giant bag of gummy worms. <laughs> Are they sugar free? No, unfortunately. They don't have any. <laughs> Uh oh, I said gummy. Oh, <laughs> now Max wants it. He heard me say gummy. <laughs> Where's the gummies? It's in the pantry. What are you hiding them? I hide it for you so to help you not want to eat it. Well, I because just want to see it. Out of sight, out of mind, it, you, know? you know? I just want to smell it. You're okay, Max. Come on. Yeah, help me. Yeah, you're right. You're just hoarding it yourself. Don't lie. No. Where is it? Oh my god.
This thing's gigantic. Look, I was trying to get a small bag, but they were out of stock of the small bag, so they gave me hey, a huge bag. Do you want a gummy bag. worm? Can Max eat a gummy worm and not choke on it and die? No, I've been giving him tiny pieces because I'm scared. Maybe like punch I have holes one. through it, and then they can breathe through the gummy holes. You'll want more. <laughs> oh no. I mean, why, like, uh, like, pin lids have, like, the holes at the top. I, I distinctly remember a comment about, like, if the kids touch the cactus, they'll learn not to do it, and, you know, whatever. Whatever, bruh. I distinctly remember that sentence being said at one point. Uh, then the kid, then the kids came around. It's funny how that changes. <laughs> uh, Let's see. Concentrated, different, fulminating, mindful. Josh, I turned my beers into spell cards. I noticed. Very cool. I see the description it refers to as a double NPA. What, what's it? What's it? MP, like instead of imperial it's pale, a, it's a Neverwinter pale ale. Ah, okay, nice. Instead of an India pale ale. Nice. Oh, yeah, it is India. But I don't know why it said imperial pale. Weird. Ain't no laws when you're drinking claws. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see. Okay, so it sounds like we got Charlie. It uh, looks like we're still waiting on Eric and Lee. That's okay. I'm back. Oh, excellent. Welcome back. Lee, are you back? Okay. I will be back in just one moment. Ah, uh, there we go. Very happy with this. Oh, Josh, I have a quick question. Mm-hmm. I was looking at this the description for the beer I just learned. At the very end of it says you cannot learn this recipe. Uh, th th that's a note uh, that I was I I've deleted it from the uh, document. Don't okay. worry about it. Yeah. All right. I just wanted to make sure I could make this again, and it wasn't just like a one-time thing. I'm back. Welcome back. Yo, I got a song if we ever turn our bar into a rave. Oh, hell Fantastic. Yeah. Let's listen to it together. Only if we could put it on the top of like a sloped tower, like an, um, what was it? God damn, what is that movie? Uh, fuck. Tron, Tron Legacy. Yeah. Yo, if you ever do a doing. rave battle, we'll play this. Okay, Dude, thank you. I was going to save it for our, uh, our nice. cyberpunk shadows over cyber deep game. <laughs> it's like <laughs> <the> music. <laughs> cyber uh, cyberpunk water deep. Well, if we ever summon Devil Man, then we'll play that. Consider the cast landers, that might happen. Oh, yeah, you're right. Mm, mm. Could be a Devil Man moment. I think I think Jim and Vivi ran into him. Yeah. What if we just don't go to their house? What, what if we just like burn their house? The I think that might be fire resistant. Yeah, I was, gonna, I was about to say. They, they probably have a lot of asbestos in there, which means if we just play the long game away from the all you know, dive asbestos poisoning. Then we're good. Well, fun fact: only certain types of asbestos can do that to you. And we would be so lucky as the. Castellanos do not have that kind of asbestos. They, they yeah. have the long, they have the long type of asbestos that can't affect them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, is everybody back? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Lee, are you back? 
Yes. Okay, cool. So let's uh, let's go ahead and jump back in real quick. Uh, Jim Heim, you yes. find yourself uh, in a field of flowers. There are occasional uh, spots where the field is broken up by a towering, spiraling silver hunk of wood that seems to arc up into the sky. Um, not dissimilar to what you might see like a br- on a branch of a tree, but you're otherwise surrounded by uh, tons of wildflowers. And your buddy, Fiona. She's... Uh, well, she's like uh, skipping through the flowers, uh, occasionally stopping, picking them. She looks up and notices you. Jim Hi! Hello. How goes it? Oh, she starts floating in the air. Ah, pretty good, pretty good. You've been pretty, pretty, been pretty busy today. Treasure hunting. Yes. Very exciting. Mm-hmm. I know. It's a shame we didn't get any boxes, though. She pouts. I know. Like, I think everyone else got a box but us. I even went running ahead at that one point. Ugh. <sighs> Whatever. It's okay. Uh, you know. Next time, we'll get all the boxes, okay? There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Jim, what are we doing? I don't know, sitting in a nice field, talking about boxes? Yeah, I know, but I mean, like, what are we doing? (laughs) Madison's all locked away. Yeah, I mean... Does he even know he's got a kid coming? I don't remember if I let that one slip when I saw him. Well, I just feel like, you know, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Like, how am I going to find this little floating gold person? Uh, yeah. And then there's the whole, like... People are going to think I'm crazy if I go around asking about it. Yeah, I know. I'm, and I'm sorry about all that. I mean, it's not your fault. Yeah. And then there's this whole uh, this VV thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's not going to happen. I mean... Uh, do you think you should tell your dad that? I mean... Oh, it'd be a real I bet if you explained it right to him, now. he'd understand. I mean, I, do, I don't, I don't know if he cares. Like, he never asked us if we wanted to. That was never part of the. Us, our desires, I think, are hardly ever a part of our parents' calculations about our futures for both Vivi and myself. Oh, that I'm sure that's not true. Listen, I. If you went back and you told Wilfried what's going on and how you feel, I bet he'd listen. Is he paying you? How much is he paying you? <laughs> He's not paying me. Good, because w- I don't even understand how that would really work. Yeah, really. But, anyway, hmm. just, just talk to him. Your dad's a good guy. We're talking about the same person? Of course we're talking about the same person. Well, I have another dad. I always thought I might have another dad. Who was You've got... It's the same... No, it's Wilfried. Okay. Listen, your dad... Your dad's a good guy. I know. I think I do. Yeah, yeah. Your dad's a good guy. He's just... <laughs> let, let me show you, okay? And she uh-huh. reaches out and taps you on the forehead. You find yourself uh, on a beach, sitting on a blanket. You instantly realize you are not in your body. 
but are seeing things through somebody else's eyes. Uh, you see a much younger version of your father uh, asleep on the towel next to you, staring up at the sky. As he, he slowly wakes up, looks up at you, uh, dozed off, stares off at the ocean. I'm glad we came out here. Once the baby's born, we're not going to have too many opportunities like this. I know you've been... Hmm? Go ahead. He's saying this, like, to me, basically? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, continue. Uh, Yeah, he he, uh, touches your hand and he just goes, I know you've been worried about everything, but... I don't know. I I never really thought of myself as a dad, but I don't know. I I think it would I think it'd be a great Yeah. I'm excited for it. There was a while there where I wasn't sure, but it's like an adventure, you know? If I we're gonna have one I can't think of anybody better to be to share it with. I scoot a little bit away from him. <laughs> the memory promptly ends. And you find yourself uh, in a room like this opulently appointed uh, bedroom. Um, you uh, hear a knock on the door and entering is your uh, father wearing like wearing like this um red smoking jacket that's unfortunately um unfastened and he, he makes a comment about uh he hears you have you're a very good at the harp but how are you at the flute when you suddenly appear back <laughs> in uh the fe- uh, field of flowers <laughs> uh, sorry that last one got a little weird <laughs> why did you show me that no i didn't mean to i can't always g- i'm sorry <laughs> you're cruel what cruelty Oh no! It's, it's, I'm sorry, Jim. It's just, you know. Sorry, I can't always control the memory. Oh, thing. Man, what a terrible joke! The flute thing, so corny. I, your mom liked it. Oh. I don't mean I don't mean that like in an insult no. way. She, uh, you know. Oh no! I don't. Oh, I don't <laughs> want to <laughs> think about that. Okay. Oh, well. I mean, whatever. He seemed nice to my mom. So your okay. dad loved your mom, Jim. Wait, so he once loved someone who's dead, and now he's mean to everyone. So why do I? Why should I like this guy? <sighs> I'll go talk to him. Okay, I don't know. I trust you, but but man, I, don't, I still don't have to like him. Jim, I think. Listen, I know your dad's a hard guy to to like, but there's there's something you gotta understand about him, okay? If you just keep this in mind, I th- I think you'll have an easier time talking to him. Just remember, and suddenly Diona lets out this ear piercing scream and grabs at her head. Oh no! Falls Diona? to her knees like in just horrible agony. No. Ah. What's happening, to Jim? You? Don't you hear it? Don't you no. hear it, Jim? No. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Jim, she repeats this for the, just like interminably until you wake up in a cold sweat. Duh. I was hating And the throughout the rest of the bar, Jim Heim, you suddenly hear every other person who was asleep in the bar wake up in a screaming fit. Oh, shit. And across Trades Ward and across Waterdeep, every person that night has bad dreams. 
you all wake up the next morning. Damn it, Oz, we said it. <laughs> you just had to say something. Right away. <laughs> Don't blame Ryan. <laughs> He's just psychic. <laughs> Yo. What the hell happened last night? So did were, were you screaming too? Was everybody screaming? Was I screaming? Everybody Everyone. was screaming. Was I screaming? Yep. Yes. Oz, what? in your dreams. Uh, you were having a conversation with Ord and he was like dressing you down, berating you for abandoning Tort again. But for some reason, this time in your dream, you just had enough of it. And you remember lunging across the desk and just throttling him. Izo, you recall being in the ring again with Bruise. But this time, you won. You won handily. You won easily. He never stood a chance. He never could have stood a chance. You're the fucking champ. Everyone worse. Everyone shouted your name. And you loved it. Lazarus, yeah, you remember your honeymoon. But some, for some reason, when your wife turned around after looking out the window, she looked at you in much the same way she did the night that you knew she was done. That look of judgment, that look of disappointment, that look that's just so evident that she doesn't understand how hard you work and all that you do, and if she could just give you a little understanding and show some fucking appreciation, maybe then she'd stop staring at you like that. Maybe if she just stop staring. King, you remember having a dream where you were surrounded by your various servants, and then, as you go to drink, put your glass down, they are all gone. You can't find any of them. No attendants, no waiters. You can't find any of the slaves. You can't find your brother, your father, Labrassus, the Knowles. Just you in the most opulent palace you have ever been in. Surrounded in riches and utterly alone. And Vivi, you remember having a dream with you and Vivian. Kids again playing at being be, being something greater than a bunch of like hooligans uh, uh, fucking around with your dad's yard tools and and some spare two by fours you found in the shed. You remember Vivian creating this like little contraption of tiny cogs and gears and how great and cool it was, and looking down at your own sorry little like sewn up alligator and how pathetic it is in comparison. You look over at Vivian and how all the ki all the boys seem to like really get drawn to her innocent little charm but you know she's not really innocent you know she's your equal accomplice she has her own little twists and turns and why everyone says that Vivian's the great one Vivian's the good one she does everything she's supposed to well what about but, but she's not she's not you know and if if she were just gone everyone would see Everyone would see just what you could do if she were just gone. And that hammer by your side, it it looks so light. You could probably just pick that up, just give it a swing, and then everyone would see your genius. And that's how your evenings went. What a bully dream about. Yeah, what a bully dream about. No food? Bully dreamt, bully dreamt about 
a bigger frog just like staring at him unceasing oh, that's oh, terrifying work, that's, the, that's the worst time <laughs> oh no bully I'm sorry a single uh, tear Les <laughs> goes down bully's when he Les when he comes downstairs he actually just heads straight out of the bar and into the alley and just kind of sits on the ground and leans back on the wall of the bar because if he doesn't leave the inside of the bar he will drink everything in the bar and he does not want that you're in the alleyway with Oz and Bully he kind of pets Bully you notice Bully's a little it just looks a little bit greener today What's on the docket for today? Ooh. Well, Morning, I'm gonna do guys. When I get wake up. Morning, everybody. What, what, what do you say, Izo? Sorry. I'm going to do a shot when I wake up. Okay. Yeah, I'll do four shots of vodka. Glug, 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 glug. I'll just do some more juice. Just a little bit of vodka in it. Uh, yeah, as you guys are coming down, you notice that the gnolls are already up, and, like, they've already brewed a pot, uh, pot of coffee, and you can see that they're having a rough morning, too. Ooh, oh, great. I'm gonna do, like, a Irish car bomb, but with a shot and the coffee. Okay. So, Did we Oz all look jinx all your dreams, too? Yeah, I was about to ask the same thing. We all look like shit. Yeah, fuck Yo, Oz. Yeah. God damn I'm coming it, Oz. Up, I'm coming up <laughs> into the, <laughs> the bar. Yo, Yo morning, morning, everybody. Yo, last, Yo, last night was up. crazy. What? what? Yeah, not great, jerk. Oz, you fucked what over our I dream. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do anything. Yo, I had a shitty dream last night, though. I think we all did. Yeah. Laz rolls into the bar after about 45 minutes, just leaning against the wall. Yo, maybe we're a little stressed. <sighs> we, we have kind of been doing stressful things for a bit, and uh, maybe we could just take the day to just relax and just kind of do... No oh, we got that fucking thing with the cast of lanterns. Some, some retail therapy. Oh, yeah, those <clears throat> things we gotta do today, guys. There's more bad news. What? I was kind of mulling over things as uh, Vivi and I were building traps for the basement. And there are two other people involved in this conspiracy. And this is what my dad was investigating when he died. Someone, someone may come to clean up. They're aware of how close we're getting. You're saying we're a target? I mean, we've been a target. I was about I was to about say, to say. Add, add him to the list, and, and Izo does another coffee bomb. Yeah, like I, I don't want to, you know, m minimize any of the, you know, danger or risk here, but yeah, we, we, we we've kind of been in that situation for a hot minute now. What group are you yes. talking about? Who are you referring to, Les? Uh, Les, uh, Les will actually like pull up his copy that he made. He's actually marked, uh, each each set of handwriting because. It was hard for him to duplicate three sets of handwriting, so he just marked each new set of handwriting with a, with a different symbol. He's like, there are three people here. We don't know who two of them are. I think this one, and he points to one of them, uh, the one who talks about his project in the North. Uh, 
was the Open Lord. But we've got two more, two other players that we haven't identified yet. Well, do we know who were his, you know, close confidants back when he was Open Lord? Or? Wait. That's a good question. What were the two? What do you know about those two players, and how do you know that there are another two players? Uh, Les will explain the whole three sets of handwriting thing again, and how the book works. Right. So, three sets of handwriting, three different people write using the books to write back and forth. Hmm. Just like Harry Potter. Yeah, so Jolly <laughs> pointed out the, the bold italics and then the normal. <clears throat> the difference, guys, is that normally we know who's trying to kill us. And while annoying, that I can deal with. We don't know who these are. Just something I was thinking about. And he pours himself the biggest mug of black coffee that he can find. Mm. Izo asked, "Do you want? Do you want a shot to go with it? We're doing car. We're doing coffee car bombs. Cart bombs." Uh, Laz clenches and unclenches one fist. Ten times. <sighs> or if not, then would you like some sh sugar-free sweetener? No to the shot. Thank you, but I, I will drink the coffee black. I mean, it'll still be black, it'll just taste a little sweeter. I'm just gonna twinkle my fingers and a little bit of magic on them. Who doesn't love it black? Uh, Lazl, Lazl nod to King because he thinks it'll make King feel better. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to encourage these little acts of kindness in King, so <laughs> I, yeah, I just press the decision to make it like ten percent sweeter, I guess. <laughs> okay. It's still basically black coffee, and Laz is fine with that. <laughs> Oh, also, I want to note I've uh, I left the cloak building down in the basement, and I kind of put it draped over need. I've noticed him being a little cold, or just you know not having enough covers. Oh, okay, noted. Yeah, him and Grimfeather will love that. It'll be even more dramatic. Wait, what did Need dream about? Um. Need would probably tell you guys in the morning. Uh, he dreamed about, um, dreamt about some sort of trauma. We've actually got a, actually got a, a lot of people in the house. By his mom. <laughs> he uh, dreamt about a world without shadows. As he walked around a other otherwise lifeless city, he noticed that. Finally, at long last, there were no shadows. And then stopped and realized he had absolutely no idea what to do. He called out to Grim, his sword. And the response he got was one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh shit. Hmm. We're just going to go around town about asking them. everyone what they dreamt about last night. <laughs> do, actually, that, that's, I mean, like, you, you talk about it, but do we do we have any, like, individuals? I could, I could do this all night. I can improv these. Uh, <laughs> we we have uh, we have three gnolls, uh, a nix, and a caprica. <laughs> and then also two and, things. Our bar, and our bartender. And you guys also wanted to go clothes <laughs> shopping? Is that yeah. a thing you wanted to do? Yes. Gotcha. Yes. Okay, well, let's go. Great. Let's do clothes shopping, and then we're we're gonna wrap it up for tonight. Magical um, clothes shopping. Magical clothes shopping. 
Sounds good. Uh, did you want to go to a to a uh, Valentine Royal? I mean, or, diff- or or somewhere else. Valentine, one hundred percent. Here's the question: Does Vivi know if she would get a discount or not? If I do, if, I will if, refuse to reveal myself to get one. Uh, <laughs> Which means that you have to reveal you yourself, Dem. If Vivi walked friend. in and I'm revealed her identity, uh, they she would absolutely get a discount. Jimheim, if you walked in and revealed your identity, if you're in a nicer part of town, you probably will. Oh, okay. Okay. Right, we're relying on Jim because Vivi's being a bad friend today. Yeah, no, I got you. I got you guys. Don't worry. Us nobles, you know. I just don't want to be seen there, you know? Also, I, I got three quick questions about, like, just t- things that are happening sure. at certain times of the day. The meeting with the Castle Hunters is at 6, right? Yep. And the bar closes when? Uh, like, let's say midnight. Midnight, and uh, is Caprica closing the bar tonight, or? She always closes, yeah. Gotcha, okay. Okay. So I got about we have six hours to kill not to kill there, but like I think there's a comfortable enough time to do that and still get back at the bar unless, you know, we get trapped or impeded somehow. Okay. I'll just try to check out the timelines there. <laughs> yeah. Just in case. Um but yeah, so if you guys are heading up to well we'll we'll assume you head up to Sea Ward, because you got a lot of things kinda in that area today. Um to a Valentine Royal. Up there. As you guys are uh, heading in, you would notice uh, this gentleman. Uh, not behind the counter, but he is talking to the employees. Uh, and you're coming in at the tail end of a conversation where he's, he's like, uh, talking about, like, expanding wares and things like that. He's just like, uh, uh, he, like they are currently sort of, like, moving around some inventory to make room for new uh, items that they're going to be bringing in eventually. Did Nixon ever tell anybody about the plan? Uh, about her, about uh, the, about what plan? The plan to eliminate Vivi? I do not believe she did. Okay. Yeah, that's something that we overheard on a B team adventure, right? Mm hmm. Right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, but as you guys uh, come in, Arthur Arthur is again like uh, directing people to make way. Uh, he, he's just like we're we're going to be getting more inventory soon. Stops and see, uh, stops and notices all of you. Um, does Arthur remember the pores enough? He does not remember the pores. Um, however, <sighs> he would kn- he would know Jemheim. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying to hide Moreau. my face in my hat. <laughs> Hello. But yeah, yeah I, I guess this is an important. Vivi, are you actually disguised in any way, or are you just going to, like, hat hide? I'm yeah. not here. hat hide. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, give, me, give me a stealth check, just in general. That cool, you know. It's going to be bad. I know it. It's good. Yeah, okay, yeah. So you, you're like on the opposite side of Ezo. You got your back to him. Get the got the hat. You know you're fine. Probably. I'm helping the others with the shopping. Mm-hmm. Yeah, totally, totally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know these really cool ones over here. Yeah, just check these out. Mm-hmm. Let's go right over this way, everybody. Uh-huh. Yep. Our Arthur sees you, Jim. I'm young Master Moreau. Uh. Hello. Should I, or perhaps I should say nephew. Oh, no. Probably not. Hmm. <laughs> I see. But you know, well, high hopes and everything. Um. So, like, you you catch his attention with that. I'm sorry. I like you know. I don't know. I thought I thought you were just being you. I do recall how you threw me out of your bar. Well, that was a good time. Yeah, you know. Things happen. Is there um, something I should know? Jemheim no, is gay. Probably not. <laughs> well, sometimes. I, 
Um. Okay. Thanks, Oz. Good cover. <laughs> could Could you help no me? Problem. find I'm trying to find a new jerkin. Could you point me to the jerkin section? <laughs> Jerkins. <laughs> Um, yeah, this guy knows sure. about Jerkins. <laughs> yeah, Ar yeah, Arthur will actually lead you, Izo, over to a uh, little circular rack they've got. What exactly were you looking for? Oh, well, I need something. I need something tough that can withstand some blows. Uh. Oh, you're looking for something magical? Oh yeah. Oh, my mistake. Sorry. He'll uh, lead you over to the counter. He'll uh, uh, motion for somebody. Magical wares. Uh, so you were saying something tough? Yeah, tough, but doesn't restrict my movement. Hmm. I got to be able to swing my arms freely. The the attendant, like, nods, nods. Un momento. He, had, he, he runs back. He comes back with a little tape measure. Starts, like, uh, checking your, your shoulder width, Izo. Arm length, things like that. Hmm. One moment. Runs in the back again. Uh, after a minute or two, Isa, uh, he comes running back out, carrying a folded up uh, black piece of cloth. And there appears to be like some sort of like weird tassel sort of hanging off of it. He proceeds to lay it out onto the counter very carefully, and you realize it is actually a cloak of some kind um, uh, with a, with, like, it's mostly cloak, but it's got, like, a tiny, like, a small sort of vest aspect to it. And those tassels that you saw are actually these long trailing, um, like, ribbons or tentacles or something. It appears it's made of some sort of very silky black, supple hide. Um, Ooh. as he just sort of lays this out. You? With the fur? Motions at the cloak. I think this might match you. Made from the hide of a displacer beast. Came in a uh, couple... Uh, came in... Two days ago. Oh, cool. We fought one of those a couple of days ago. Did you now? Did we? We didn't. No, we didn't. That, was, uh, we didn't. that was actually B-team. <laughs> oh, never mind. At, yeah, and, and he'll, But he will... When you say that, he will chime in. Yeah, say... So, uh, a little cat man came in selling it. <laughs> nice. Well, other than looking fabulous, what does it do? Can I try it on? Certainly, certainly. Uh, as you bend down, he like uh, hooks it up to you, Izo. Uh, Izo, you could feel like a little bit of warmth come from it for a second, but otherwise, it doesn't seem to do anything. The rest of you see Izo. As soon as he, like, clasps the cloak on, uh, he suddenly, like, vanishes for a second and then reappears about mm, six inches to his left. Huh. Either, either that cloak makes him teleport or he moved really, really fast. Yeah, oh, like I'm rubbing my eyes. Ooh, that's handy. I put some eye drops in and and as Izo is sort of like hmm. motioning and sort of moving around, sort of like trying to examine the thing, all of you see like this weird after image of Izo uh, that is isn't that is like synced with him, but is not quite where he should be. It's almost like he's being displaced in uh, in a uh, in space. Uh, Izo or Charlie, for, for reference, what this thing does is hang on. It's called a displacer cloak. And let me make sure I know. Let me get this right. Uh, nope. Yeah, okay. So this thing, how it works is uh, when you're attuned to it, attack rolls against you have disadvantage up until you either take damage or your speed is somehow reduced in some way. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. That's really good. At which point it ceases to function for the, uh, for one round. And how much does it cost? Uh, when, when you bring up the price, the uh, the, uh, the the little attendant is like two thousand. Oh shit! 
I, oh I think it's more than I saw. I saw. I saw a play once. Where, where did that? I think we're only seeing his after images. Uh, uh, Arthur is standing back, smiling very happily. I think it suits you. The color is excellent. You wear black very well. Thank you. Unfortunately, it's uh, much too rich for me. He immediately okay. frowns. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry. I guess I should have asked this earlier. What exactly is your price range? Uh, I, About 300 I guess a tenth of this. <laughs> oh, understood. Waves the guy back. They... He gives you the the attendant gives you the sort of uh, what are you gonna do kind of look and fastens it. Um, goes in the back uh, after a minute or two. Comes back out. Um, hmm. Let's see here. Damn, that's a shame. That was an awesome cloak. God damn, we, 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 got we could hack VV. Uh, yeah, he comes back out with a. Um. Yeah, it comes out back out with a with a jerkin there, Izo. Uh, leather. Um, appears to be made. Uh, like you could see a scale pattern in it. It appears to be like some sort of reptilian leather. Uh, perhaps this might appeal to you. It is uh, unfortunately not um particularly heavily enchanted. It is, however, uh. It, it quite it can however be quite stylish um he he'll show you how it works he'll don it himself and with the in a second or two it changes colors and textures made from the uh, hide of a uh, creature of chub This would be a, a suit of. This would be a, a leather, like a glamoured leather jerkin. You can cause it to, uh, its appearance to change as a bonus action. Mm. I got one of those. I Indeed. love the style, but I don't know how much extra protection it's going to provide. It doesn't look much. It doesn't really look any tougher than the jerkin I have. Not, and I'm like figuring my own like thick leather jerkin. Mm-hmm. The the guy goes to say something and like closes his mouth, like looks over at Arthur, who gives a smile. I'm afraid at three hundred your options are rather limited. Mm. Got it. If you'd like, we could get you a nice tailored suit. Perhaps maybe maybe made of shift weave or some sort of glamour attached to it. I could make it look like you're on fire. Or shining like the sun, I can. We could arrange for it to sort of uh, self clean. There's any number of minor enchantments we could put upon it. No, I need to save up for something more practical. Oh. A pity. It's a shame that displacer cloak is so so spendy. Hmm. Oh well. He's a shoulders kind of slump, and he just starts walking towards the entrance. How about the rest of you? Yep. Anything else? Would could or do any of you need attire? I want your best material. What's the most expensive thing in here? The most expensive thing in here. I'm bougie. Show me. <laughs> <laughs> Bougie. Laz is okay. just like while this is going on, casually looking over everything that looks like it's black, and with no expectation that he's going to be able to afford anything. Okay. Right, Rona King's uh, just uh, testing the uh, Velcro on something that's like I'm inferior, nothing, nothing like authentic mystique in Velcro. So, uh. Hmm, sorry, uh, give me one second here. As I frantically search for things that could qualify for this. Um, 
You see, lads, this is this is where you get when you know, pe- pe- no no offense, to, you know people on the Sword Coast and whatever, but this is where you, where you get when they try to imitate authentic Mastican Velcro. It's just not the same. I'm just pulling and reapplying the Velcro on a piece of something over and over again. No, nothing like my like mine. I started, started doing the Velcro, all the hair ropes together. Okay. But you might be having problems with that because it's getting stuck in your fur. Uh, no, it's it's, it's inspired by uh, that. Then I'm just gonna sh- show my my tongue like, kind of on my fur. Wait, we we can fit. <laughs> uh, uh, so you wanted you want to see their most expensive thing? Yeah. He returns with a um a suit coat, or, or rather, more specifically, a coat. Uh, uh sort of dinner jacket thing. It is the color of the darkest ink. As he, uh, you know, as it moves and the light catches it, there's a, like a slight sort of bluish sheen to it. And as he just sort of lays it out in front of you, you can see it's got these silver buttons that go uh, down the length of it. Each button you can see, ha- like it is. Um, Vaguely in the shape of like a coiled tendril or tentacle. This is probably our most expensive item. What's it do? Hmm. He runs his hand like very delicately uh, down the length of one sleeve. Made from silk. From far off Koratur. Soaked in a brine. Of deep sea water. Infused with curious magics. Those who wield, those who wear this. Have been known to call upon a magical, uh, magical properties of those things that dwell in the dark and the deep. I can't, unfortunately, demonstrate it to you. Apple's cloak? I don't want to hurt anybody. (laughs) How much? This? Given... The rare materials, the expensive treatment. And of course, there is a premium given its dangerous nature. 5,000. I was expecting 20,000. How about one cup a piece? What? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, damn. You know, I don't know how cool it is because you, you didn't really show me. So, hmm. Again, unfortunately, if I showed you, people would get hurt. If you are interested in purchasing it, however, a demonstration could be arranged. As what do you if- think? If, say, you want to come back later today, we could we could probably make an appointment, clear out some space, go to a secure location. I could show you how exactly it works. I'm gonna th- Let me talk with my associates here before I make any rash decisions. Understood. Yo, guys, we should totally steal this thing. <laughs> I knew that was why you asked. <laughs> I am right here. <laughs> what? What are you touching my face for? I mean, I'll, I'll be honest. I'll... I, I, I don't trust the thing to be properly made because you know, the state of the Velcro I saw in here. <laughs> also. Who do you think they're going to look at if something like that just goes missing in their inventory? You doofus. Mm. Fuck. 
Maybe replace it with a, something that looks the same, you know? Right. That's it goes like back it. to like looking at the things that are now green and blue. What we do is we <laughs> replace it before he does the test of it, and then we call him out on it being a dud. I don't know what will get us, but it'll be funny. Gig, you got all the good ideas. <laughs> I will not be party to this, and when you get arrested for being idiots, I'm not bailing you out. Uh, Lazarus, as you're sort of perusing the uh, clothing, you do notice that there there is another customer in here who's been like looking at other uh, articles of clothing, um, and as you just sort of like take him in for a moment, just for an instant, you do realize that yeah, you act you've actually seen that guy before. Um, he's on, like, um, when you're going through Seaward, you've seen this guy, like, sitting on a bench, reading the paper. But now that you're sort of, like, perusing things, you do notice he's not just perusing. He, you're 90% sure he's looking at you. He's, like, watching you. Laz is going to uh Laz is going to casually close the distance uh while perusing in air quotes and kind of pay attention to how he moves. Um seems to be he, he doesn't move in any like particular particularly aggressive way very fluid great poise uh am i is laz able to get close and like to within uh conversational distance yeah totally okay you get on like the other side of a rack yeah uh laz will uh laz will just casually do i do I know you? I swear I've seen you somewhere. Look at you. No, I don't believe so. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, uh, can I? I can I do insight and see? You know, oh the... yeah, you could insight. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, Lazarus, you are... Yeah, you can ascertain that this guy um, doesn't actually... Like, well, no, that's not... You've never met this man. You've uh -huh. only seen him on your route. Hmm. He says he doesn't know you, but that's not... You can ascertain that's not true. Or it's not quite true. Um, he, he knows, like, the way he's looking at you the slight sort of curl of a smile. He knows who you are, clearly. He knows something about you. You can't quite place it. As you're thinking, like, more... As you see that little curl of a smile, you realize you've seen it before every time you've walked past him. And it starts to dawn on you, he's been watching you for a long time, but you don't know how long. Les is just sort of uh, Les is kind of examining that that face and that smile just long enough for it to become impl for it to like border on impolite and he's uh before he breaks away looks down at the rack and says mm, I'll I'll keep an eye out I swear I've seen you before Maybe, and then he just lists the street the bench is on. Somewhere around there. It's possible. Would anybody else anyone. like to uh, uh, look for any particular set of clothing or anything like that? Oh, I'm, so. fly, I'm fly enough as it is. No. Yeah, I don't have much money to spend. Yeah. I figured the greatest yeah, amount of money I'd ever had would be enough for something. 
but apparently <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's 300 yeah yeah okay. no there was i, I thought you lost more than that from the drow oh you know what i did i think i had 500 at the time but still mm-hmm. this is still one of the greatest sums of money Izo's ever had or seen in his entire life and yet it was a tenth of what that cloak would have cost and Izo's just really feeling right now mm. Uh, as you guys file out, uh, Laz, you look, give that guy one last look. You see that a- when you look back at him, he was already watching you leave with a wide smile on his face. Have a good day, Mr. Wolf. I, uh, Laz We're going to keep it there. Oh, no, go ahead. Sorry. Laz pauses. Mm, I didn't have a good you know what? I didn't catch your name. I didn't give it. So you didn't. You have a good day. And we'll end it there for tonight. Saint demands a body hopper. Body hopper. <laughs> <laughs> give jolly ideas. <laughs> uh oh. Shit. <sighs> He's after us. Oh, shit. So you guys would actually be like over here, probably somewhere. Don't worry, we'll be at the Castellaner's Manor tonight. We can probably swipe a lot of valuable crap there. It will get you that displacer cloak. Yeah. <laughs> that was such a cool uh, item. They, pro- they probably have eyes literally everywhere at that house. It would be impossible. <laughs> I mean... Josh, you're I- just the biggest cock tease. I'm the biggest cock tease? <laughs> yeah, oh, because of that cloak? Really? You went into a yeah. magic item shop and you thought you could get something for $300. I, I feel like this is not Jolly's fault. <laughs> I mean, it is my fault that I did show off like a really sweet fucking item. <laughs> I didn't. I, I, however, did not intend to be. I literally had to like start improving. Like, fuck! What are clothing? What are clothing themed magic items of an appropriate level? <laughs> Just and, laser cloak. That's a thing. And, and what also, would they have in stock in a fancy place like this? I don't fucking know. Also, on the topic of we shouldn't steal from the castle hunters, I'm still not entirely convinced that tonight's not going to end with Castle Lantern Manor burning to the ground somehow and <laughs> us be able to scoop up a bunch of loot out of it. We d- I don't know what's going to happen. Well, I'm <laughs> we afraid those rings that, that they have on their fingers... Buildings burning and running away from them. What were uh, you saying, Ryan? Yeah, I w- I'm afraid those rings on their fingers are going to like soak into their, their skin and go into their hearts and like go around their hearts and then... Then you have like, to beat Wamu in order to get it. <laughs> I'm going to have to find someone. I'm going to have to get the antidotes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and th- that is like, contained within the castle enters and nose rings. <laughs> God. <laughs> So I'm I'm happy that we managed to get out of the bar. I'm glad we were able to do that. Yes, we did. <laughs> we were at a high we risk of not. We do a little bit more, but we, we were the fact that we get you out of the bar, <laughs> I take as a win. So. Oh dang, we forgot to ask the the dude about their dreams. Shit. Oh, I should have asked the Knowles about their dreams. <laughs> oh yeah, we should have. Okay, I was gonna I was gonna say earlier, I was like, if there is any character that we suspect of being fae related in some way we could ask them about the dreams and see if the one two three four five six part happens because so far the only pattern i've noticed is diona had the one two had the number counting okay. i i i isn't uh, isn't grandfather's need kind of fae connected uh he is shadow fell connected gotcha so hmm so not not explicitly mm-hmm. fae but uh, that I feel like there's some kind outer of connection planer. There. I, yeah, there's a, definitely. Yeah. Cool. Hey, I think hey, Faye and Shadowfell are connected. In in retrospect, when uh, Laz was doing his like fist clenching and unclenching, I should have had it be six times and not ten. Ooh. Mm. Oh, that would yeah. be clever. Yeah, yeah. yeah if, if there's if there's a reason why 
just need and Yona did the number counting. We find someone else who had the number counting that could give us more information about like that whole side of the plot. Yeah. I just don't know who else in the city could be a possible after planner or fake a person that we could inquire to about that. Yeah. What is need from a like species standpoint? Oh, he's a um Shatterkai. Oh. Yeah, Shatterkai. Oh that... I don't know what they were called. They used to be tied to the Fae, so Feywild, hmm. so that the the Fae connection is there, even if it's a little tenuous for need. Yeah, because the, the 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 number counting only happening in two of them. Yeah, that just stood out to me really clearly for some reason. Also, I just realized I'm never shopping in Sea Ward again. I need we need to find a magic <laughs> item shop in a uh, Trades Ward. Little, you know the one right next to our house. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that that guy says gizmos and stuff. I needed magic clothier, clothier. I, I imagine they're he could have probably something. functioning yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Uh, you could go into like you could go into their shop and see if they have a recommendation for a clothier. They sell items. They might. That's a good idea. Yeah. They might have a recommendation. Yeah, he's got no other magic item makers, I would, you would think. We yeah. could just hunt down a displacer beast, get its hide ourselves, and, you know, just pay for labor. I don't want to go outside the city, though. It's scary out there. <sighs> I, I will say it is a miracle that we got you to leave the city that one time. <laughs> Yeah, and I feel like every that. time you go outside of the city and there's not a dragon, that's just increasing your odds of there being a dragon the next time. What we need to do is just make that dragon encounter happen, beat its ass, and then Ease will just have the most 180 surge of outside confidence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I, I saw a dragon, I kicked it kicked its ass. I'm never going back into the city again. There's a whole world to explore. <laughs> and that's how we lose Ezo, and he becomes like a normal adventurer. <laughs> He was a dragon slayer or something. Next time you see Ezo, he's fully decked out in like in dragon leather. Ezo so, dragon puncher. <laughs> yes, dragon punch. He just has gloves um, with dragon like dragon like teeth on it. Like, well, the size would be kind of weird on there, but anyway, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, he has so a dragon skull as a the I, the itinerary for next time is. Um, did you guys want to keep doing more shopping? Um, I could see us talking to uh, Ge Gearfried and Silvertime if he was still interested in hunting down some item well, upgrades. That's the, other, that's the other way. I'm Oof, trying to think yeah. is where there are shopping to be done in this area. I don't know what other shopping there is to be done. I think everything in this area is going to be too rich yes. for our blood. Seaboard. Stupid yep. Seaboard. The, uh, I'm, I'm going to propose something that I know you're not going to go with because I know your characters, but you could pool your money and get somebody, one person a nice thing. Do, Do we, we even, even have, have enough dollars money? Between us? <laughs> no. yeah, I don't think we have enough to get the 2000 I'm going to knock that shit. <laughs> so for, for, for being a ha half composed of, of you know nobility and half composed of you know career criminals and also one cop, we have a real bad way of holding on to money. Facts. Facts. I, I suppose that could be another uh, objective you could pursue is finding the drow who stole your money and get your shit back. Did we like come into an agreement with them? About, like, yes, hey, you we're... did. Yeah. In, in fact, that, that whole concern you guys had about like, you know, there, there might be people coming after us and all that is largely mitigated by the deal you have with that guy with the, or with those guys. I mean, Which, the reason recall, we decided to go treasure hunting was to get money because we're broke. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so possibly more like low key shopping, maybe, but also I didn't even think about bartering. I could have, tr how much is this, is this Albear plushie worth? I don't know. We'll have to. Uh, I, I'd have to think about it. 
right. It, it, Al, Alweer plushie is a common magical item. God so it's it. not going to be like humongously. Does anybody remember a character named Heath, Heathcliff? Yes. That sounds familiar. Or, or like, like in the game. Yeah, yeah, in, the game. Like, in the game. No, I that's... know the cat. <laughs> God damn it. In the game, that sounds familiar. I cannot place it. Was uh, that a- Heath Cl- Rocco and Heathcliff were the two bodyguards of uh, Little Button Nose Benny way back in like session oh, three or four. Wow, yeah. Okay. Uh, and Heathcliff is the one who I believe managed to survive long enough to run into King again and then died in a fireball. <laughs> 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 oh, he was with the with the group with the. He, he, he was he was Shark. in uh, in Sharks Gang Two. Oh well, oh, okay. serves him right. And the only <laughs> okay. and the only uh, of which the only two survivors were Shades and Shark, a very badly wounded Shark. Well, that explains this because um, I was looking at my character. Sh- I was looking at my equipment, and I realized like, hey, I don't know what this is. I apparently it took Heathcliff's boots, and I still have them. <laughs> <laughs> he okay. died shoeless. He did oh die God. shoeless. But I, I took those boots, or <laughs> I might have taken them off his dead body. I don't know. No, I mean you weren't there for him dying because I, you know, it, it would have been too burnt I think, I think to you take guys, off. I, I remember you guys. I think one of you knocked him out and took his shoes. Um, okay. that may have been a thing that happened. Okay, so the other thing we're doing next time is we're hitting the art exhibit gallery. Uh, the the, oh, the, yeah. the the new Olam nice. Academy's uh, School of Visual Art. Yeah, ah, to ask that? about that statue. I'm gonna go bully a bunch of art students. Yeah, yeah. Gosh, and and go buy whatever oh, bar, bar, fancy creature bar. Mm-hmm. Uh, fancy what was that, Charlie? Bar? Where is the the art school? Uh, that would be. Oh yeah, I think I realized. I think I just. Uh, I don't see it on the map. Yeah, hold on here. Um. Uh, there is. Uh, there's a little visual in. Aha! There it is. Okay, that would be over here. Because the, the the like this uh, area, hang on, let me make sure about that. Uh, oh, on the, on let me the rise. Back in. Uh, no, not near the rise. Where? Fuck! I just saw it. Ah, I'm sorry. Over here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, because all all of this over here is New Olam Academy. It's also where you went to that play. Uh, that got attacked by. Uh, people. Oh wow! I didn't think that was over here at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all, all of this is all this is a college with uh, and it is a one big like campus facility. So their school of visual art is like one separate building. You guys went to the uh, the the Light Singer Theater, which is a separate uh, building, and that's like right next to the Castle in the Villa. So, um, it yeah, is. Castle, I know north of us. Yeah, yeah, Castle, yeah. Castle Enerville is here. You'd go this way. But I mean, just like this right here, this is like a half hour walk. You're, you're fine. Right. Yeah. Honestly, you guys could probably tool around like back at Trades Ward if you really wanted to and then loop back. I mean, you'd have plenty of time. Like, it's still pretty early in the day. So you, you got time if you want to do other things. Aren't there mermaids in part of like the city, like like part of the coast of the city? Yes, uh, down in the harbor, um, there is a colony of mermaids uh, of merfolk that live somewhere in this harbor, Not, and help duh. like help like clear out wreckage and whatnot. Yeah, I don't think we have time for it today, but sometime between now and when uh, Dumon leaves town, we should totally, uh, like meet up with those mermaids and be like, 
hey, so what's the reward for uh, saving one of you? Sure. Just got to go through Dock Ward. <laughs> oh, fun. Yeah. Make sure that what's his face doesn't get up or grill. Mm hmm. Though I imagine the in character way that King would probably approach it is hey, I heard one of you was being kept at an aquarium. How much for one of you? Oh, you're not selling. What if I got that one back? Boom. Either way. Gotcha. Subtle. All right, folks, I'm going to head off to bed. Same. Fun, yeah. fun game. Thank yeah. you, Josh. Nice. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Good, Good, game. Game. Good night. Yeah. Good night. Good night, everyone.